I saw that uh, uh, the FCC has levied a fine of $100,000 against um, LTD uh, for impermissible sharing of information during the quiet phase of the RDOF auction. Um, and I was kind of curious, like, I feel like it's an interesting gambit. I don't, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm guessing that it's, I would assume that the FCC, um, you know, is doing it. This is a real bird thing. I don't know anything about like how these things work, but the interesting thing is if, if LTD just decides not to pay it, then the FCC has an excuse not to move forward with the art off. Right. It, it puts them in a little bit interesting situation. I think Doug, that's, that's a small wrist slap. If, you know, that's not going to stop them. That's not going to do it. The interesting thing is, you have to imagine the forty percent of the people getting that money improperly talk to other people. Somebody had it in for them and turned them in. So, you know. Yeah, and what what I guess what I'm thinking is just like I mean I've been assuming, <clears throat> um, looking at it that that this is not a situation where. Um, the LTD is looking to really get this money and build out the network and everything else. Like they're, they're looking to flip the network or they're looking to do something like the numbers don't make enough sense. And so like, I feel like this, they have to put in their own money now and they still don't even know they have to pay this fine. Not even knowing like, so I would assume that if LTD was not about to get a billion dollars from the FCC, they would be like, whatever, <laughs> like, but, but now they have to actually pay it. So I just thought it was an interesting situation. It, it certainly cranks up the, the interesting pressure on them. Doesn't it?